Hey y'all, it's your girl Lala. Welcome again to my garden. Guys, I'm out in the backyard and today we are going to dig for some sweet potatoes. We're not sure what's there, but we're gonna go dig and see if we can find anything. So come along with us. So on our way to dig some sweet potatoes, guys, here are my pigeon peas blossom. So the pigeon peas tree started to put out blossoms. Beautiful. So hopefully we should have some pigeon peas or gungo peas for Christmas dinner, God's willing. Yay, pigeon peas tree a blossom. Yay, guys. Okay, let's go dig some sweet potatoes. These are so pretty. So pretty, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful blossoms. Okay, guys, let's go. All right, guys, so my sweet potatoes guys honestly i don't know what to think <laughs> because i'm gonna go around the papaya plants so guys um over here we have our sweet potato vines not looking like anything i mean we did give it a good weed out but as you can see there are lots of weeds over here but the vines, whatever, that attach itself to the ground, we're gonna check to see if we will find some sweet potatoes. Because as you can see, the leaves on the sweet potato vines are pretty much gone. They, they have disappeared. Don't know where to. <laughs> so, we're gonna dig. Just dig on it, you never know. You want the um, small shovel I have? Because sometimes we might think that there's nothing there and you never know. Honey, you gotta dig, you know. Don't just take surface value for it because the last time when I dug, there were sweet potatoes in the ground. So, just dig on it. And this um cocoa this cocoa plant on it, you can um just Yeah, you can dig it up. This? Yeah. It yeah, see what's what's there in the cocoa plant. If there's any oh well, something broke off, so maybe there's something there. If not, we're just gonna plant that back in the we're gonna plant that into the wheel. Yeah, anything small or big, we're just gonna take it up because I need to plant my other stuff for the um let me see guys my first tiny sweet potato anything in there yeah Okay. You want to go and get the fork? Mm -mm. I'm going to plant it. Right? We're going to plant it. Yeah, I'm going to take the first thing to put it into this, the wheel where you're at. Mm. But there's nothing in the wheel. So we can put it in the wheel, honey. Take it out the way, yeah. But there's nothing inside there. There's no sweet potato, I believe. I was gonna plant something else in the wheel, but we can't put the poker plants in there. Why you have to take off the leaves? So it's gonna spring back. Oh. That's how you plant it. Okay. You're gonna dry up. Okay. All right. Honey, even check up, check around the um the wheel of the the tire wheel, you know. They're look, supposed to. Look, look on it. They're small. On it, but the leaves are already dried up. So if you leave it, they're just gonna get eaten by whatever critters are in the ground. Take it up, honey. If anything, I'll plant them back later on. Whatever you can find, check alongside the wheel to see what's there. Yeah, these are young. These are like so tiny, guys. You know why these are so small? 
over there by the wall. There's not much space for them to go down. Funny, but they're drying up. Just take them up now, honey. We don't care. I have to plant other stuff. Just dig up whatever. Dig up, dig up whatever. See? Yeah, that's whatever it is. Just dig it up. And those um, small papaya tree can just get um, taken down. You want to chop down this big one too? That's Might as well because... Um, this one to, to that one. That one blossoming. Here. Yeah, this one has um, AFibs on it. So because it has AFibs, we're going to have to cut this one down. We just got to cut the main root to the... Um, you just cut the main root to the uh, papaya. So I might as well just take it down because you cut the main root. Mm -hmm. I know but I know potato gotta be here. Not a whole lot. See? Whoa, we got some potato right here. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's fine. Give me the whole thing with it, the little vine. Oh wow. Yeah, something eating it. There's some, that's why I want to get rid. Um, pick it up because if I let it stay too long, oh my goodness! See, you let them stay too long. There's something in the ground that's eating them. So we gotta get them up. This is like no good. Look at that. Something ate the potatoes. You cannot squat them off the vine, honey. And you know why over here because of the awning because of the awning it does not get a whole lot of water so some of these we're gonna have to just plant them back into the garden for next year i think i should go for the little rake so we can rake up and see what else is there because i'm sure and yeah, i feel if we use the rake we'll probably find something more What's up with all the birds? I know there's got to be potatoes over here. You know why? Because over here is where the head of the potato is. There goes another one. I'm sure there's potatoes here, honey. So guys, we have to take that papaya tree down because it has AFibs on there, it's not looking healthy, so we got rid of it. So guys, we have found basically no potato, just some tiny ones, nothing much. I don't know what happened to the potatoes, but nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, if you remember, most of the vines were not even in the ground and then after that, the white flies started to take them up. <sighs> so no potato, no luck much in the backyard with potatoes. Just a few small ones here and there. That's about it. Okay, guys, I think this might be our biggest potato. Let's see what it looks like, honey. Ooh, that's the biggest one I think it is, right? Man. Yep. So sudden. Nothing, 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 nothing. And guys, you see them, you see my wall? You see how the wall looks black? That's from the white fly disease. See what the white fly does? Whenever I plant potatoes.
so guys finally we have taken on this task we are cleaning up the side yard <laughs> so we're moving all the weeds or most of it it is sunday evening november 13th and as you can see we can only do this kind of job when the sun is not pelting down on us so my husband is over there working very hard taking up the weeds for me yep that's what's going on right here guys i'm so disappointed because i did not get much potatoes and i know for sure there's not much over here either because these started growing very very late and i'm gonna let these stay for now i'm not gonna you know disturb this bed hopefully i can get some potatoes out of here so i'm gonna leave these and um if i need to plant anything well i do need to plant i'm gonna have to plant it further down in the back also guys i'm going to be removing my cassava plants i'm going to be transplanting them over to another side of the garden but for right now i'm leaving them oh my gosh gary what? you just broke my cassava plant guys i can't believe it my husband just you know root up my cassava plants look at this guys he broke the head of my cassava plants can't believe him Oh, you gotta be more careful, man. Look at this, guys. So guys, we are finishing up, tidying up the yard. Still need to rake over there. But we pretty much took up the weeds that were in the back of this bed. of all the crazy weeds that were back there so those that you still see those are lemongrass and um that, that french mint so that's lemongrass and that's the french the french mint so it finally got to this guys finally got to it took up the weeds still need to upgrade the bed by removing the board and put in the concrete blocks like those but it's a little bit costly so i'm gonna have to save my money to buy those blocks because they're they're not too expensive but at the same time when you add up how many you gotta get that's where the cost comes in and you're talking about doing it for the entire bed it's gonna be quite a few so you're looking at roughly maybe 200 plus dollars to get that but we'll see as time goes by So guys right here i'm gonna take up this lemongrass that is in my oregano bed i'm gonna take it up i'm just gonna pull it right out see it's gonna pull it right out just like that there it goes Also, I got those sweet potato vines running through the oregano bed. Oh, wow. Put that over there. So 
so that's the work that we did in the yard guys that's i can finally get to use my hose again <laughs> we're gonna replace that hose anyway it's no good thank you honey Hmm? Where's the cutlass? <laughs> so guys, here are the uh, cassava, the cassava heads that my husband broke off from the plant in the garden. I'm gonna stick it right here. I'm gonna use this little container as my emergency planter because I don't want my cassava to die. I want it to catch and grow back. So I'm just gonna stick it right here, guys, into this pot right here because I'm getting ready to remove the star fruit from here. These are the star fruits. I'm gonna get ready to get those out this week my June plum as well. So I stuck my cassava heads in there. Hopefully they don't die, hopefully they catch and grow so I can transplant them back into the garden. So that's it right there. So guys, here are my potatoes I've got from the garden. Nothing much to look at. These are all small potatoes. Now, something definitely has been eaten away at the potatoes while they were in the ground. Okay, I'm gonna show you. This one right here, guys. Something I just got to it and freshly ate some of the potatoes you can see right there. I don't know what it is, if it's bug, if it's worm, but something definitely has been chewing away at my potatoes underneath the soil. This one here would have been a nice potato, but guys, look at this. You know potatoes are sweet. So whatever it is, has some sweet teeth, okay? <laughs> it has a sweet tooth, okay? So definitely, it's been chewing away at this good food while it's underground. See? So these potatoes did not get a chance to get big, because something has been nibbling away. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like to plant potatoes in the backyard. My first time planting the potatoes in the backyard, this is exactly what had happened. And then I planted in the front yard or the side yard, and I got some potatoes. They weren't big, but they were in better condition. Now, see? Same thing here. So mo I believe this was the biggest potato I got from the garden today. And as you can see as well, it was being attacked. So these right here, guys, nothing much to do with these. These are all small. So I'm going to have to just use them to plant them right back into the garden. But I'm not going to put them back in the backyard. I am going to put them in the side yard, which is where initially I had them last year. So... That's where I'm gonna put these back. So did not have a potato harvest of such from the backyard. It's really frustrating and sad because then I've waited months and this is what happened. All the bigger ones I'm sure that were there have been eaten. And so these are the young ones, the baby ones. And as you can see, they were also being attacked about uh, whatever it is so guys if you did enjoy the video go ahead give it a thumbs up if you're new please consider to hit that red subscribe button because if you're not watching girl lala tell me guys won't i do way i do <laughs> to all my friends and families thank you always for coming and watching it's your girl lala say bye <laughs>